and ask yourselves in all honesty, what on earth is wrong with the United States simply minding its own business? Or with having its foreign policy function primarily for the safety and benefit of the American people? Which is exactly what we had done for the first 140 years of our existence as a nation to the incredible advantage of ourselves and everybody else. Everybody, that is, except a numerically small clique of power-lusting conspirators who had somehow inflicted themselves on a gullible world. One, our first and most important specific undertaking should be to restore the complete independence of the United States. This... This includes our resolution to get us out of the United Nations and get the United Nations out of the United States. <laughs> Two, we must once again make our money freely redeemable in gold at some realistic price. And we must take all practicable legislative steps to prevent a recurrence of the enormous thievery and other subversive crimes that have been perpetrated on the American people through a contrived inflation by every president from Franklin Roosevelt through Richard Nixon. Three. Three, we should reduce the number of government bureaus, of government civilian employees, and the whole quantity of government by at least 50 percent. And, and we should achieve at least this much reduction in proper fashion through gradually convincing a majority of the American people of the wisdom of such a course. Four, we should withdraw all American troops from every spot on earth that is not American soil except when and where such troops may be required as decided by Congress to protect American lives and property from criminal vandalism. Five. Five. We should get government out of the areas and functions and activities where government does not belong. Again, Again, all steps to this end should be taken gradually, but nevertheless just as rapidly as enough of the American people can be persuaded to support such progress.